Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while and I was trying to figure out which video to make first because I got a couple ideas and uh, I thought I'd do a Mustang update because um, I haven't done one of those in a really long time. I actually did one about a year ago um, so I thought I'd give you an update today and uh, I sold it. Uh, it's gone. I had it for about a year and a half, a little bit over, and it was a great vehicle, but uh, I surf a lot and it just didn't quite work for me, especially when I'm trying to fit a uh, eight foot board in a Mustang, which is possible. It's not a lot of fun. Also kind of windy. And there was another type of vehicle that I've been considering for a really long time and uh, I just decided to pull the trigger and sell my amazing Mustang, which I kind of regret, and uh, get this vehicle, which is boom. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is a 2011 uh, GMC Sierra, and uh, it didn't look like this when I got it. I've done a good amount of mod mods to it. Uh, second, I'll show you a photo of how it used to look, um, but I'll just do a quick little walk around for you. I'll go over wheels and tires, everything. It's got a pretty straight body. So let's talk about what I got here. Um, like I said, this is a 2011 GMC Sierra. It's got the 5.3 LS, um, the Vortex specifically, which is really cool to have a V8 finally because the Mustang was a V6. And uh, it's not very fast, but it sounds really good. I'll give you a demo of that in a second. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of kind of show you some of the stuff I've done. Um, real quick, I'll show you the interior, although it's not very impressive. Um, I put, <laughs> you can see there's a little bit of sand in here right now. It's pretty much all stock in the interior except for um, one big thing which I'll show you. This is part of the big thing. Um, it's got an aftermarket LCD stereo system in it um, and this is my volume. It's a TPMS sensor from the Mustang. Um, the big deal inside this truck um, that makes this a lot of fun to drive is this right here. We got a massive sub um, that was actually already installed in here. I'll give you a kind of a demo of that in a second. Um, we got the amp for it down there. Um, this thing it thumps hard. And other than that, I put these um, cat seat covers in it, but that's really all there is to the interior. So let's not harp on that too long. Next up, you're probably looking at um, these right here, although they aren't very clean, they have some sand on them. These tires are Nitto um, Ridge Grapplers. Um, they're 35s, they're pretty nice tires. I got them, um, you can see the, the dimensions on them right there. Um, I got them pretty much new, they had like a thousand miles on them. And these things are wicked. They're built super tough and they're just kind of, they're kind of perfect for this truck. Um, although, of course, I'd kind of love to have some 37s on it. Also, how I have it right now, um, it's getting about 12, 13 miles per gallon, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then these wheels here, I don't know if my camera's showing it very well. Um, these are, I believe it's TSI, that's the logo right there, TSR, TSI rims. Um, they're a little bit offset, you can see. If I take it like that, they're not quite as offset as I would prefer, but they do a pretty dang good job. I'll show you this side because the sun's on it better. <clears throat> you can see there's a little bit offset. I need to put um, spacers in the rear to match the front because the front sticks out a little bit more. But yeah, these wheels and tires are killer. They kind of make the truck. Probably wondering what I got on lift wise. It's um, on a six inch lift in the rear, um, six inches in the front, and then I put two inch spacers in the um, front end also. So that makes it eight in the front if i back up you can see it's got a tiny bit of a rake you can see there um so it just it was more to level it because the front front end was down way too much it gave it a little bit of a stance um but the front end how these work i'll show you they go they dip down a lot in the front end it's not a straight hood like the newer models um, so it pointing up a little bit makes it so it's kind of straight across of course I should have said by now this is a extended cab So it's got the suicide doors in the rear and of course you can only get the extended cabs with the six foot seven bed um, On the six foot seven bed. I just put this on a couple days ago This is just a, a roll-up bed cover and then in the bed I got a uh, rough country bed mat that I also just put in here. It's already crazy sandy You can say it's just a just a roll-up works super well for when I need it for and the reason I have the bed cover and the bed mat is because um, when I'm surfing, uh, I can just throw as many surfboards as I want in there and uh, just shut this guy and then not worry about it. Um, I can also lock it so no one can get in and steal my boards. It's just crazy convenient for me. Uh, also, this is a Z71. Um, of course, it's four wheel drive because um, I'm driving on the beach all the time. Um, I feel like I need to make a surf vlog sometime because um, I surf all the time and I think it'd be really cool. Oh, and by the way, um, this is what it used to look like. 
um, so it's come a long way that's what it looked like when I originally drove up to get it um, and then just one more time this is it now so I've done a good amount of work to it um, when I got it it did not have this push bar in the front I actually stole this off of my dad's truck um, and it just kind of makes the front end look a little bit beefier yeah, I just I don't know. It does it for me. I like it a lot. Although it's a lot of fun when you're trying to pull up to someone and trying to figure out where the, your front end is. Um, down here, we have a super bright light bar that's installed. Um, and then that thing's just controlled from the inside. Just one button and it turns on. That thing's really nice at night. This thing's got a different um, like lower front end piece on it. Uh, and then it had a bunch of trim that came down. I think this is, that was an aftermarket kit to, um, installed to make it look like a Denali. So I just took some of the lower fascia off um, and it made it just kind of look a little bit less meaty in the front, which was kind of added and made it look a little bit more sleek. Um, of course, we got uh, new headlights. The ones that were on this were just crazy foggy. Of course, they're a little bit dirty, but um, it's just the nice C's. They look super good at night. I really like that. So I had to do a little bit of stuff to the front end to make it look good because it was a little bit, a little bit messy. Um, in the rear, we have this guy right here, this super dirty chrome tip that was brand new because I put it on. Um, I took it down to a local shop, Rick's Muffler Shop. They do a great job. And uh, this guy is straight piped. <laughs> yeah, so she ain't got no muffler. There's a cat still on each tube coming um, right after the headers. So that is down in there still, but um, she'll, she's pretty loud. I'll give you a sound demo with the bass in a second. And that is pretty much all the mods that I've done to it. Of course, there's little things like a little changes and all kinds of little cosmetic things you need to do. Oh, I'll show you this also. In the interior, some of the buttons on these get really worn down. I don't know if you can see, but in, that's kind of weird. Um, bro, focus. It's kind of hard to see, but um, there's some green in there, and uh, it's because the buttons get worn off on these, so you just put stickers on top. So I did do that because that makes it look kind of better. But um, I can't really portray how the bass sounds exactly through my camera, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know what the best bass song is for giving an example, but I'm just gonna do Wow from Post Malone because I'm generic. Now I'm gonna just do, it's not a cold start, but I'm just gonna put you right next to the exhaust so you can kinda hear how the truck sounds. So there you go, sold my baby, got a truck, and uh, this thing's doing pretty well. I forgot to mention, I've had this thing for like, it's like been like eight or nine months already. Um, I just haven't made a video in a really, really long time, um, but this thing is doing really well. And I just wanted to make a quick video on it, showing y'all, and also so I kind of had kind of a documentary thing on this, so I can look back in five years when I've had three different vehicles um, and be like, oh, I remember that thing, that was cool. But anyway, um, glad to be back. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Um, my videos aren't gonna be all fancy with a bunch of B-roll like I used to do. I'm just gonna make them, and if they're bad, um, it is what it is. I'm just enjoying making videos, and if they're bad, I'm probably still gonna upload them. Hopefully y'all enjoy them. We've um, gained a lot of subscribers since the last time I made video, so hello to all you new people. Hopefully you enjoy this video, and uh, there will be new videos fairly soon, so don't worry. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out, I'll see y'all next time.